Hello, this is Cadian. Are you familiar with Cadian 3D, one of the products provided by Cadian? Cadian 3D is a 3D modeling software that supports bi-directional compatibility with DXF and 3DM files and features an intuitive interface that anyone can use easily. In this video, we will cover getting started with Cadian 3D. First, let's look at the screen layout. You can see that the screen is divided into four sections. These sections represent the top view, front view, right view, and 3D view. The reason for this for part division is that it's a space for drawing 3D models. Remember to use these for screens evenly for efficient modeling. Before explaining further, Let's draw a cone. From the solid creation on the left, click on the cone, then specify the base point, radius, and end point to complete the cone. The top left section, the top view, is a view looking down from above the object. Click the top view button in the top menu to enlarge this view. To return to the split screen, click the split button, the front view, right view, and 3D view can also be switched to full screen in the same way. The front view below shows the object from the front. Clicking the front view button in the top menu enlarges this view, and clicking the split button returns it to the split screen. The right view shows the object from the right side. Similarly, click the right view button in the top menu to enlarge this view. Lastly, the 3D view allows you to see all faces of the object in 3D. Next, we will explain how to use the mouse. In the top, front, and right views, you can drag while holding the right mouse button to move the screen. However, in the 3D view, dragging while holding the right mouse button will rotate the screen. To move the screen in the 3D view, hold the mouse wheel button and drag. Alternatively, you can hold the shift key and drag with the right mouse button. Also, scrolling the mouse wheel will zoom in and out on all screens. Next, we will learn how to select objects. Clicking the left mouse button on an object will select that object. You can also select objects by dragging. Holding the left mouse button and dragging will select objects. The important point here is the direction of the drag. When dragging from left to right, objects must be completely within the rectangular frame to be selected. When dragging from right to left, objects only need to touch the rectangular frame to be selected. Clicking on a corner of a selected object will select the corner. Alternatively, clicking an object and then clicking a face will select that face of the object. A face is the surface element of a solid object. Finally, to move an object, hold the left mouse button and drag the object. As a tip, holding the control key while moving an object will copy it. Next, let's briefly explain the top menu. Clicking the first file button opens various menus. There are file management functions such as open, save as, new file, import, and export. The save and new file options next to it are similar. The undo and redo buttons allow you to step backward or forward in your current task. These functions can be replaced with the shortcuts Ctrl Z and Ctrl Y, respectively. To delete an object from the screen, select the object and press the delete button at the top. This function can also be replaced with the delete key. Let's select everything and press the delete button. In this way, you can delete unwanted objects by selecting them and pressing the delete button or the delete key. In the options, 
You can adjust settings to suit your preferences. This has been an explanation of the Cadian 3D interface, mouse operation, and menu. If you have any questions about Cadian 3D, please contact us via our website, email, or comments. Thanks for watching.